finally, finally, we are back with another Skyrim mod showcase. After that disastrous Skyrim update that literally broke my newly released mod list, we can now finally say that we are back with new amazing mods. Some of these mods are probably mods you've already heard of, but without further ado, let's start the video. Let's start with a mod that might be familiar to you, the Infinity Blade. If you were a fan of the mobile game Infinity Blade back in the day, this mod will be a nostalgic one, as this mod brings two Infinity Blades into the world of Skyrim, one with enchantments and the other one without. The enchantment version deals 30 damage to all attributes plus it has the ability to make your power attacks either banish Daedra or inflict Dragonrend, making it a somewhat overpowered weapon you can have. While the plain version does not have any of these effects and can also be crafted at a forge. The mod even offers you a choice of three different texture resolutions, ensuring you get the visual experience that suits your preferences. The sword may not be lore friendly, but it is definitely a cool looking weapon. Before we continue on, let's hear a word from our sponsor, Metasites. Metasite is your gateway to immersive virtual worlds, where you can interact with virtual AI humans, learn to collaborate with them, and bring your projects to life. The possibilities within Metasites are truly extraordinary. There are amazing things that you can do in Metasites. You can enjoy engaging game mechanics, plus Metasites use the most latest version of Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine 5, providing hyper-realistic graphics that will make your experience unforgettable. Now, let me tour you all in some of the different locations you can explore in Metasites. Tired of the loud city life? Explore the serene beauty of nature in Metasites. Journey to the corner of Lux location, where you can meditate in a breathtaking environment or simply relish the view of a stunning sunset. Or do you want a more challenging experience? Well, you can also visit and play various of games in Metasites. If you're a sports fan, you can even play soccer or basketball, which are a lot of fun. Imagine you don't even need to leave your house anymore to enjoy your favorite games. Set your record for scoring goals with Metasites. And believe me, there's so much more to discover in Metasites, and this is just the beginning. Join the X-Solo Metasites demo by clicking the link in the description and engage in a virtual world like never before. First up, we have a brand new immersive mod called Simple Fishing Overhaul. As the name states, the mod redefines the entire fishing experience in Skyrim, making it more enjoyable and engaging. In vanilla Skyrim, you were not allowed to use third person when fishing. Well, this mod now allows you to do so. This also includes its own new animation for it, though it's not perfect but it does the job. Now, you're allowed to freely move your camera, providing a more enjoyable experience. NPCs and followers now react dynamically to your fishing adventures, sharing comments and a chance to be called a fisherman if an NPC catches you with a fishing rod. There's enough for all of us if you aren't greedy. It's in spot. I can see you know what you're doing. When I was a child, a smart man came and gave me a valuable piece of advice. What good are fish if you have to eat them alone? The mod also introduces a bait system, which can also be disabled in the MCM menu. The author has fixed some of the generic dialogue lines such as it's all in this note. Now you can finally have a more natural response and here are a few examples. I'm waiting. You're headed to Morthal. It's all in this note. Indeed, there is much to be done. You're headed to Morthal. Here, take a look. Next quest mod that I want to share is Meridia's Order. A brand new quest mod that introduces a brand new faction dedicated to eliminating the imminent threat of necromantic tyranny. It is now your mission to prevent hordes of the undead being released upon Skyrim. Now before beginning the story, you'll need to complete a quest called the Break of Dawn, wherein you help Meridia to clear her shrine from evil. 
And soon after, a paladin knight from Meridia's order will extend an invitation while you are in a city. Apologies for the intrusion. I am Paladin Marith of Meridia's order. High Priestess Alara has sent me to find you. Or if you prefer, you can go directly to the Sanctum on your own. The mod features a dynamic questline, where the choices you make significantly impact the unfolding story. High quality fully voiced characters. I have something to ask of you. This is Meridia's Sanctum, and we are Meridia's Order. You are welcome here, so as long as you adhere to the benevolence of Meridia and respect the High Priestess. New locations and even boss battles, offering hours of additional content. The quest also seamlessly integrates with existing lore of Skyrim, which I know a lot of you will enjoy. I personally had fun playing the quest, and the amount of dynamic choices you get to choose from makes the story even more compelling. The next mod I want to share is a brand new armor mod called Yell the Bowth Armor. This brand new armor mod introduces a set of armor and a mighty greatsword, drawing inspiration from medieval fantasy. What's more is that the mod comes with 4K and 2K textures. There's also a darkened version of the armor as well as a divine version, which I think some of you would like even more. Now I appreciate the author making a variety of different color palette to the armor, giving us the option to choose what suits our taste. It's also worth noting that the armor is also craftable at a forge under the ebony section. And the mod is .esl flagged. Overall, it's a great looking armor. And I know a bunch of you will definitely enjoy having it. The next mod I'll showcase is a simple one. Slightly better honey in a jar. This mod serves as a simple mesh and texture replacer for Skyrim's honeypot. And I personally prefer this mod compared to the original Honey Jar in Skyrim. There's also an available option for you to use Base Object Swapper to swap only 50% of the honey pots. This can help diversify the textures and meshes of honey pots to avoid having to see the same textures everywhere. Next up, we have a fantastic addition that breathes new life into one of Skyrim's natural wonders, but this time in the Forgotten Vale region, Natural Waterfalls Dawnguard. Though the mod recently merged with Natural Waterfalls, it is still worth having its own showcase. Just like Natural Waterfalls, the mod aims to make waterfalls a lot more natural and beautiful without impacting performance. The difference between vanilla and this is like night and day. I personally know that Two Strews did a lot of work creating this and it definitely paid off. This mod is ESL flagged, making it an absolute essential in your collection without worrying about your plugin limit. HS Whiteborn Battleborn Farm This mod overhauls Battleborn Farm which is located at the outskirts of Whiteborn. Now transformed with new added clutters enhanced tables, additional buildings, and a larger, properly walled area. The interior of the farmhouse has also been reworked, which the author has done pretty well. The overall design of the farm has drastically improved compared to vanilla, and it now feels a lot more like a real farm. Moving on to Diverse Farm Fences, a mod that uses Space Object Swapper to tailor fences to their respective regions. Valkyrie now boasts Witcher-style fences, while Riften and Rorikstead utilizes Icy First fences. Solitude surroundings feature KG's fences, and Whiterun and Riverwood adapt to your current fence texture, which adds a little bit of uniqueness to each region in Skyrim. Lastly, let's explore Lively Farms, a mod that uncovers the origins of Skyrim's produce. Ever wondered where those apples, carrots, and tomatoes in the vendor stalls come from? Well, this mod gives an answer by adding in apple trees, growing tomatoes, and carrots. They are now visible in farmer's fields. The mod also adds in three new food recipes, pure dumplings, pure tart, and pure pie. A scarecrow has also been added in some of the farm locations. Plus, the AI or farmers have been improved. Another mod worth showcasing today is Description Framework, 
This is a fresh framework that brings an immersive touch to miscellaneous items by providing in-game descriptions. Take, for instance, the loot in Vanilla Skyrim, which lacks any description. But once you integrate this mod, suddenly the loot now has a short description. Another good example is the Dragonstone you acquire during the Bleak Falls Barrow quest. Previously, an artifact with no description, but it now has a descriptive narrative and is lore-friendly. It's fantastic to see the potential of this mod realized, and it's already gaining traction with other mods like Vanilla Item Description, Mythos of Skyrim Immersive Artifact Descriptions, and Creative Club Item Descriptions. I encourage you to check these additions as they are definitely worth having. Next up, we have Ancient Atmoran Remains. This immersive mod introduces the colossal remnants of the ancient Admorans to the frosty regions of Skyrim. These remnants serve as memories from a bygone era, showcasing the colossal figures of fearless warrior giants who once dominated the Skyrim landscape. In my opinion, this mod not only enriches the lore of Skyrim, but also captivates the imagination. I personally think that witnessing these colossal giants adds a layer of fascination when we go and explore Skyrim. Now, for the next mod I will showcase is a mod that I was actually forced to showcase. Now, I'm just kidding. Noble Elegance. What makes this mod stand out is its seamless blend of two popular skin mods, Diamond Skins and Demoniac Skins. The author's main goal is to aim for that sweet spot, drawing on the translucent and silky textures of diamond skin while incorporating the facial finesse of demoniac skin for a youthful yet mature appearance. The mod also comes with 4K textures, perfect for screen archers to use. Now, are you tired of seeing the same loading screen again and again for the past 12 years? Well, thanks to Balls Chapter 1 Dawn of Gods, we finally have a new loading replacer. No, it's not all about balls, but it features 160 different high-quality Skyrim-related images, featuring most of the gods, both old and new, as well as the Dawn era story. Another cool thing about this new loading screen mod is that each loading screen has a selected lore text from in-game books and other sources. This also works with 21x9 monitors as it's the only true 21x9 loading screen mod available. I personally know the author has other plans in adding more high quality images. After all, this is just chapter 1 of the series. Next up, we have Unique Armors and Weapons Retexture SE, another amazing retexture mod by Saf Bio. And when I say amazing, I really mean it. This mod sets out to redefine the visual items and armors of Skyrim, specifically targeting unique armors and weapons scattered across the realm, from Daedric artifacts, staves, ash spawns, and my personal favorite, the Grand Champion's Helmet. Like any other mod by the same author, the attention to detail is truly amazing. From the bright washy looking textures we see in vanilla Skyrim, now it's a lot more refined and high quality. So I definitely recommend you guys to give it a try. Lastly, we have another brand new armor, ELM Lock Armor and Blade. This mod introduces a stylish set of craftable ebony light armor along with a greatsword. The armor's appearance comes with a blue tone. It can also be worn by both male and female characters. What sets it apart is the inclusion of a hooded helmet variant, adding a touch of stealth to your character's appearance. Just like any other armor mods, it has different texture resolutions for you to choose from. I personally like how the armor looks, and I will definitely keep this mod in my personal load order. Well, that's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching till the end. Special thanks to the 540 Beast for being my first God Tier Patreon member. And of course, big thanks to my other channel members for joining the membership I have on YouTube or Patreon. This helps support me and the modless development of Eldergleam. I hope this video helped you and if it did, please take a moment to leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Stay safe everyone and happy modding.